you'll remain calm at all times no matter if everything is tearing down no matter if everything is falling apart you will never panic so hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel um today i just wanted to share with you all some of the struggles that i have encountered as a female chemical engineer in the industry i just wanted to basically just to make persons aware of some of the struggles that they might encounter this is my personal experience and it might not be synonymous with your experience in one of the first things that i realized as a chemical engineer as an engineer overall you're expected to know everything it can sound away so strange and so like in a realistic but sometimes it feels when you're in the industry you're in the work environment sometimes it feels as if persons your bosses everybody will work with you they may speak your stay up and know everything even if you're you don't have experience before once you're going to the industry is like people just naturally associate engineer with intelligence and with wisdom and with knowledge like you just expected that you know everything and when i just started working um my first engineering job i didn't get much time to basically learn or study some theory about the plant before I was submerged into the work meaning as soon as I started I got one week first where I looked through I was given material to read and then the next week I was thrown into an era thrown into the whole hectic 24-7 monitoring of a plant that was just coming up and whatever so it never easy you never really have no, no breaking moment you don't really have no time when nobody has to sit down with you and carry you up to speed. Basically, you just start off running. You see, they have a run or you have a drown. <laughs> My expectation was that, oh, you're going to learn. You're going to have somebody that walks with you and brings you through the area and shows you everything that you're supposed to do. Whereas, no, that no happen. That nobody not going to carry you like no baby steps and bring you through nothing but the next thing you can't freak out as an engineer you have to learn to remain calm at all times i learned that you have to just keep your composure even if you are freak out on the inside and even if you don't know nothing at all you have to do it nothing you can't make people know because people are gonna like just People are going to suck up and absorb all of your energy where you give off. People are going to lose faith in you as an engineer. You have, people have to have confidence in you. If people don't have confidence in you, in a minute sense, they're not going to be willing to work with you. They're not going to have that faith in your method of doing things. They're not going to have any trust in you as an engineer. You need to have your people them who you're working with and people who are working um, below you, persons like operators who you have to give information to and tell them basically to do stuff secondly when you're working as an engineer you know, especially as a young engineer you are going into an environment most of the time working with people who have been in the industry for years and so you have to go with some level of confidence even if you never have confidence before you have to learn to get confident even if you don't know what you're doing you still have to have confidence meaning you're not gonna like go and tell people say yo do this do that but at the same time ask questions with confidence be aware by stood by reading a lot reading the material and asking people being inquisitive asking people information persons who you know have experience ask them don't be afraid to ask people questions and don't go feeling that oh you know everything and go out around people because you have the authority and the power to do it because as an engineer that's the next thing you have a lot of power my boss always used to tell me say Kim, you have a whole lot of power you don't even know how much power you have and so you have to be wise you have to be wise you have to be vigilant and you have to learn for just to take each situation different and to take your time for go through each situation take the time to learn from square one gather your information don't just jump and go to an, an, go on a, a site go at a place and just take what the operator say never do that as an engineer you never take with the operator stay and run with it you always go back to your computer system go back to the, the software where you com whatever company you're working with whatever software they have always when a problem happen you go back to the software you check troubleshoot do your own checks you don't take what people say because you are the engineer and you have to know for your area 
you know listen to where the operator stay you know listen to where the, the even the manager stay you have to get the details and what the facts say on the computer and you put it together you go on site and you analyze the, the area and see listen to what the operators say yeah because they are the persons that are on site 24 7 you're not on site 24 7 they are the persons who are like in a relationship with the equipment it's like when you go on a, a vessel it's like it's the operator's vessel so when you want the vessel it's like you're going on the operator's work area so they have a bond already with the equipment they have a bond in my son now but they have a bond and a relationship with that vessel it is their vessel so you go and you ask them and you inquire and you troubleshoot and do your own investigation and then you come to a conclusion but you have to have confidence when you're approaching any situation you're not gonna know everything and you're gonna know that yourself you're gonna know that but at the same time you can't act as if say you're, you're oblivious to what is happening running about you you remain calm at all times no matter if everything is tearing down no matter if everything is falling apart you never panic you never show signs of panic if you have a panic panic in your house <laughs> panic under your sheet but no go there and panic because you know what the worst thing about panic is not only it drives fear into people and cause chaos in the workplace but it it restricts your ability to think and to reason and that is your purpose is to think for the area and it's to reason and to understand the situation and to analyze problems and to come up with a conclusion a logical conclusion based upon the facts that you have gathered from your computer system the program that your, your workplace is using and from the operator something makes sense and you have to make it make sense for the people that you're divulging the information to so thank you all for watching my video and my last encouragement for you all would be if you working as an engineer you're just new to a job try to get a mentor somebody who is respected in the company and somebody who has a lot of knowledge experience and who is willing to teach you and to encourage you and to motivate you i was fortunate enough that for all of the areas that i went to all of the jobs that i had as an engineer i always had some older person who was willing to teach me and i was humble enough to learn so just keep subscribe to my video please subscribe to my video and like my video and leave your comments below and take care bye